Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we have Desolation Gunslinger Suicidal. We're kind of close for, for, for content today. We've got, so I've got this video, and then the next video to record, and then I stream, but, uh... It's, it's currently 1.15, I stream at 2. These videos are typically about 20 to 25 minutes, 30 minutes even each. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't think I have the time to record both my KF2 videos in this, uh... This time frame. Plus, I have two Gunfire Reborn videos to record. I'm just like, man, there's going to be a lot to do after stream. And you know why it is? You know why this is happening, right? It's because I didn't start recording until like 12:45. <laughs> like some kind of a loser who doesn't know what she's doing. Anyway, I, uh, I had, uh, I had, um, yeah, I woke up at 10 and I just, I, I, I read <laughs> Black Belly Miss all. All day long, like, um, some kind of a fool. Hold up, actually, I have to pause this really briefly. Horrible. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. What happened? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly ashamed to admit it, but, um, I accidentally left my Discord stream up on a, uh, on a RuneScape Discord that calls out a uh, specific event that happens at a, uh, fishing location in games, the deep sea fishing hub discord thing, and a, uh, a merchant had spawned in world 53, and the, the stock today is, is really really good, and I really wanted it. So I'm mildly, I'm mildly ashamed to admit that I had interrupted the video for uh, mere runescape, you know, stuff. But, um, at the same time, I did get two gifts for the Reaper, so suck it. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. I'm actually about to get my first 99, um, while I'm, while I'm leaving RuneScape up in the background. About to get my first 99. Went from 91 fishing to, uh, 99 fishing by the end of my recording day today. Probably around uh, literally close to the end of it. It should be pretty pretty much right at the end of the recording day, but uh, probably may, maybe a little bit after stream. Anyway, it, does, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be getting our first 99. I mean, I am. You're not a part of it. <laughs> really. Um, I mean, kind of. I stream on it occasionally. And I'm, I'm planning on making content. I just have to figure out how the heck I'm going to do it. But um, getting my first 99 from the Save Kang stuff while I'm uh, recording and streaming and all that. It's, uh, it's, it's a strange feeling, because <laughs> I'm going to have no idea when it happens. I will not notice that, like, I will not notice that it happens, because I'm just, I'm not paying that much attention to it, you know? It's just every now and then, you know, I just kind of, like, bop, click, there it is, you know? And, uh, nobody would even know the difference, and it's pretty good stuff, dude. But I'm about to get my first 99 through it. It's the, uh, the most AFK 99 that I had to do. So, uh, oh jeez, oh jeez Louise, oh jeez Louise, oh jeez. It's the most AFK 99 that I had, so I'm uh, a little bit concerned about what I'm going to be doing after this, because, like, nothing is quite this good for exactly what I'm doing here. People, I, I've, uh, I've been talking about it in my, uh, my clan chat at times, and people are like, oh, well, you can go and do this. I'm like, well, I have to, like, they tell me to go do, uh... Like woodcutting with uh, with superheat form. I'm like, well, you have to restore a prayer with that. It's not really that AFK. Like, I'd have to look at my screen, find where my ritual shard is, click on that every five minutes, and I'm like, that's just it's not it's not happening. I don't have I don't have the level of focus required to to engage in that kind of um, content. So, I, uh, it's, it's got to be like super duper, super duper low input kind of stuff, and uh, even at the expense of XP, you know, like I'm probably gonna be doing woodcutting at some point, which is uh, I'm gonna be doing archaeology next probably because that's also fairly AFK, um, and then after that we'll probably be um, woodcutting because I'll be able to just burn all the logs and just every now and then click on a tree. And, uh, the XP per hour will be pretty much garbage, but, you know, the alternative is no XP, so it's pretty good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, yeah. Anyway. 
It's uh, it's gonna be good fun. It's gonna be good fun. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of progress on the account through this, and it it's just, it feels good. It feels really good. But yeah, I'm getting my first 99 from this, which is uh, which is a cool thing. I I knew that would happen when I started doing this. Like that was the point of doing this was to get 99s and, and eventually max and uh, coming up on the first 99 here which is, is just it's a cool little achievement thing you know if you ever hear like little thumps in the background cause sometimes I click on the phone pretty hard like that kind of thing um, that's that's me tapping on my phone <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever hear that in the background you know that I'm uh, making sure I'm fishing I try not to do it but sometimes I'm just like too out of it, and I just I just tap on a little bit too hard. Cause I don't want, I don't want it to be noticeable that uh, I'm even doing it. You know, I want people to, I want people who don't know that I'm doing it to not have any idea that it's happening. Um, you know, like that was a very silent tap, and we're just walking towards this dude anyway. Anyway, enough about my uh, Runescape obsession. You okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? What? Did he just kill himself on that? That's bullet time. I need to watch that back after this to see what the heck happened there. This guy do fire damage with those. Please smack me. No fire damage. Look, you gotta you gotta try it at some point, right? You gotta make sure that uh, you know the answer. Because if you don't know the answer, then you're uneducated and making uh, guesses that you may be wrong about, and that's no that's no good. Wish these things were functional. I want to. I want to send him out, dude. Send him out. Pop, 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 pop. Know what Zed's love? Broken armor. My arm is fully repaired. Back in the game. Get off my butt. You think we can make this jump this time? I'm confident that it is possible to do, right? Go kill some Zeds. I feel. I feel like it's possible. I don't. I don't know though. Anyway, anyway, you guys ever been to a shooting range? I haven't. <laughs> no idea what it looks like. I want to go to one though. One of my old friends was a uh, was a gun fanatic. What were they well, cooking up here? We worked at uh, at a location together. We were coworkers, and uh, we're still friends on Steam. Occasionally, you see him. Uh, we're still friends on Steam. We got like you know phone numbers and stuff. We don't talk to each other anymore though. Because uh, we grew apart, but anyway, we um, we worked together, right? And uh, the place that I worked was was pretty low. There, 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 there was not. It was not. Didn't, didn't demand a lot of, uh, of attention from us. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it that way. It was it was a mostly responsive job. You know, customers came in, we greeted them, said hello, how's it going? What do you want today? Um, delivery driver came in, we're like hello, how's it going? What do you got today? And then uh, that was basically it, you know. When 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 people weren't coming in, we had nothing to do. Pretty much, if like somebody like we had to stock shelves and stuff, but if like if people didn't come in and buy stuff, we didn't have shelves to stock. So it, it was basically the way it went: is um, people would come in and buy something, and then we just walk into the back, grab whatever they bought, and put it back out. Um, because like, you know, just not enough people kind of walking around there. Not, not enough people. I mean, that's why it's closed. Right? Like they closed down. So, oh my god, please, please. We've had, like, enough close calls here, okay? Um, like, they eventually closed down, so, like, you know, we, we really didn't have enough customers to, to make it a profitable uh, venture. But, um, regardless, it was a very nice job because uh, we did nothing. And, uh, it was a, it was a tech store, it was a technology store. We sold tech, you know, computers, phones, phone plans, even all kinds of uh, all kinds of stuffs that uh, people might want for for technology things. Phone cases, 
you know, earbuds. It was, it was a little, little, little tech store, you know? Um, but it's not there anymore, so it's gone. And, uh, so on our computer, on our, on our work computer, my, uh, my buddy, he would, uh, really, dude? How did I get knocked forward? How did I get knocked forward, though? How the heck skis did that happen, man? Where, 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 where am I? Where am I? What's going on here? Yeah, I know we have a flush pound. I'm unloading all the bullets I have into his face, okay? Uh, anyway, so he would, uh, he would on the work computer. He would, uh, he'd be looking up guns all day. You know, showing me pictures of, of guns and bullets and stuff. He liked guns, you know? He was, he was a gun fan. And, uh... One day, our boss was like, Yo! I, I didn't think I'd have to, you know, quite say this, but, um... No, no gun videos at work. We have to maintain some level of uh, professionalism here. And that's not it. <laughs> so, yeah, you got in trouble for... For looking at videos of guns that work all day. And then we just started watching like Deadpool and, and stuff on uh, on our phones. While we uh, while we waited for something to do and then the store closed down. We're like, yeah, who would saw that coming? <laughs> who who would saw that coming? We get like five people walking in a day. They wanted us selling more phones and stuff. And uh You are right around the corner. Right? They're right behind me. They wanted to sell more phones and stuff, and I never really got into it. Like, I'm never, I'm not really one to sell people on stuff anyway. Like, I will, you know, you put me in the, you put me in like, uh, Tim Hortons, you put me in a McDonald's, you put me in a, in a, in a, in a, a and w you know? Hi there, what can I get for you today? Just the 10 nuggets for you, you don't want any fries with that? That's me, I can, I can handle that, you know? But you, you put me in like, uh, a Best Buy. Hi there. You want uh, you want a, an Xbox today? Did you know that if you got an Xbox, you could also have a phone, and they can both connect to the internet, and you can watch videos on both of them. Not me. <laughs> not 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 my type of thing. Um, but that's that's what that's what you have to do as a, as a as a person that sells phones. I can't do that. I can't do that kind of stuff. You know. So it's not it's not something that I can do. You know, a lot of people can throw away their morals and uh, sell people phones and, and stuff that they don't need. I, j I, can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Because that is an insane amount of poops. What the heck, dude? Um, a lot of people can do that. Not me. So. The heck, man. So I, uh... I, I had the worst performance out of everybody. I occasionally sold a phone, you know, but like it was we had to sell like 15 phones a month or something like that, and our entire store was selling like four. <laughs> like like we had to sell like 15 each, and the entire store was like four phones. I'm like look, no matter how hard I try, I'm not making it to to the 15. Okay. You know, yeah, I'm not very good at the whole selling phone stuff, and I'm not gonna try and, you know, make bridges to, to phones at every possible opportunity, but, uh, look, I mean, if, if you only get four phone purchases a month anyway, how the heck do you expect me to get 15 on my own? <laughs> like, the, like, I'm not even sure I saw 15 customers this month. <laughs> you know, like... Where do you want me to get these phones from? Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was a it was a fun job because it was like dead, and we got to just kind of chill out and and, and enjoy the well, working with all the tech. I mean, when when you work in a store like that where there's nothing to do, I mean, we got to like hook up, like we got we got we got to pretty much open up whatever we wanted, um, play with it mess around with it so we had like you know laptops everywhere playing music and then we had like speakers and stuff and we were running like audio cables and bluetooth stuff and get all kinds of like cool it was it was a pretty sick setup like we got to like tear up carpets and and um 
Like, like we, we, we had the, the freedom to like pretty much do whatever we wanted in the store, which was fun. And uh, like a lot of fun as, as, as we got to um, get it all working and stuff. It was, it was a lot of fun, but, but, um, did they want me to sell phones and just like, you know, you took what was like the perfect job and you just kind of, you, you shattered it. And I don't like, I don't like it anymore. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It was, uh, that, that's been true for like a few places that I worked. Like I worked at um, that place, which wanted us to sell phones constantly to everybody every time they came in. It was always like, why didn't you talk about phones with them? Like, they didn't want a phone. Did you see their phone? They had an iPhone like 10. You want, you want me to sell them what, a, a new other iPhone 10? <laughs> what, what, what do you want me to do? Does your daughter need an iPhone? <laughs> like, where, where, what do you want me to do? What, what do you want me to do? Um, but like, you have, you have to sell it anyway, you know? Get, uh, get those phone sales. Um, so I worked there, and then I worked at, uh, I worked at another place that was another tech store, but a larger one. This one was, uh, can't remember. Staples. Staples. I worked at Staples. Um, that was like, oh dear, I've done this before, and I don't, I don't like that. Um, that was like, probably the, okay, we're just gonna die, and this is just kind of the way that it, the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, that was the worst job I've ever had, Staples. It was it was by far the worst job I've I've ever had to, to suffer through. It, it was on on so many fronts, so 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 bad. Um, for one, uh, similar kind of like sales stuff. You know, you're you're, you're a sales rep. You gotta meet your quotas. I thought that since it wasn't commissioned, it would be like a little bit more lax. No. Okay, because because the reality is, you know, people say you know commissioned people aren't going to be as pushy. The, the, no, the, the reality is, it's not about the people who are selling stuff to. It's about their bosses who want the money anyway. You know, they're going to be like, look, you do this or you get fired. So, it, it, whether whether they're on, whether they're on commission or not, they they have to be pushy. So it doesn't matter where you go. Everywhere is going to be pushy. Don't 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 just be like, well. Well, it's, it's not commissioned, so, you know, they're, they're going to be a little bit less... No, anywhere you go is going to be equally pushy, because their bosses are going to force them to, uh, to to sell stuff to you that you don't want. That's just how it goes, because um, their bosses want to make money. And uh, so they're going to make sure that it's it's in the job description to, to be as pushy as possible, so that they can penalize you for it if you're not... Uh, you know, rather than uh, it, it's it basically just goes from you know positive reinforcement where you get re where you get commission to negative reinforcement where you get like you know punished and 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 written up and stuff for for not doing it properly um, so it, it, it but you know two sides of the same coin pretty much not really they're very different but like they they they, they result in similar things you know either way you're gonna be getting a, a pushy sales representative for the most part. I mean, I wasn't a pushy sales representative. That's why I don't work there anymore. Um, but, you know, like, you, you might be able to find somebody who's just like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Okay, I'm not selling these people stuff that they don't want. And, um, you know, that's that's one thing. But uh, the, the, the crazy thing is, is when people would buy computers, because there's not the, uh, the, like, you go to, like, a Staples, a Best Buy, a Future Shop, whatever. The, uh, the margins on computers themselves, right? Like you buy a laptop, you buy a desktop, you buy, you know, whatever you want. The margins on the computer itself for the um, the retail store itself is, is are, are, like, non-existent. In, in fact, they're oftentimes selling them at a loss. Um, just, just so that people are actually buying them because they're big, expensive purchases, you know? And then they... Uh, they hike up the prices on like the, the smaller stuff like a USB drive or batteries or a mouse, keyboards, you know, all this kind of stuff. That has really high margins um, because they're smaller purchases and it's easy to tag those on to your purchase of a computer or a laptop or whatever, right? And uh, the thing is, is uh, because of that, they, they really want to make you push as many of those add-ons as you can. You know, warranties, 
all all this kind of garbage, right? Um, and on some things the warranties make sense, but on other things they just don't. I'm not telling people to get a warranty on their ten dollar mouse. I'm sorry, but I'm supposed to. You know, I was supposed to. I, I I'm not gonna do that though. Just just buy a new mouse. Your mouse will probably last. Don't spend money on a warranty. You know, the, the reality is, is, is warranties in general make money off of people because the like the the the, the rate at which the things break and have to be replaced doesn't doesn't like even out with the uh, the cost of the warranty. So they're they're like breaking less, like they have to replace less, and they're getting money back from the the warranties. You know. So, like, as I buy a warranty, I'm paying for somebody else to break their thing, you know? Because I'm not going to break mine. I'm going to be careful, you know? Hence, I don't buy warranties because they're dumb. On, uh, on a lot of things. Some things are uh, worth buying a warranty on, like uh, chairs. Buy a warranty on a chair, dude. 100%. You get, you get an office chair, like, get the warranty. A, a couch? You know? Whatever. Get the warranty. You know, you know why? Because, uh... Almost always, it won't matter if the thing's actually broken or not, and the warranties will be really, really long. Okay? You, you get a warranty on like uh, on an office chair or something like that, it lasts for five years. Five years later, your office chair is probably still fine. Just go get a new office chair for free. Or like, you know, for the price of the warranty. Um, yeah, and then you got like two chairs out of it for a, a pretty sizable discount, if you ask me. So like some things, the, the warranties are worth it. Other things they're just not. Anyway, so you had to like hit like 15 attachments or 12 attachments or something like that on the uh, on the on the thing. So you're like you have to sell them a warranty, you have to sell them Office 365, you have to sell them a mouse, a keyboard, you have to get them buying like USB drives, you want them buying HDMI cables, and you know see if maybe they want something for their phone as well. I'm like, look, somebody's coming in for a computer. I would I would rather them spend the money that they need on a computer that does the job for them. I'm not gonna say. Cause that was a, that was literally what they said. It was like, you, know, you just just pull down the cost of the computer, give them a cheaper computer, you know, and uh, and make sure that you're selling those warranties. You know, make convince them to, to to value those warranties. You know, and I'm like, absolutely not. Buy the computer that you want. Come back for the 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 the, the, the various add-ons that you need later. You know, get a good computer. Be happy with it. And then, and then they'll come back because they'll be like, "Hey, yo, I was happy with this purchase. This was a good purchase. I'll be, uh, I'll go back because I need, I need, uh, I need, uh, I need a mouse. I need a keyboard. I want webcam. I want, you know, this. I want that." And, um, but that that's not how they see it, you know. And I'm not an expert on it, so how they see it is probably the right way to see it from a business perspective. Um, because I'm I'm not an expert, but um. This is not my kind of thing, you know. I don't. I don't care about money. I care about the customers. And uh, you know, your your boss at the, at the retail store does not care about the customers. They care about the money. So there was there was that kind of thing that was really uncomfortable because I had to sell stuff to people that I really didn't believe in. Like I oftentimes had to sell Office 365 to people who were like talking about like Linux and stuff. And I'm like, I just I think they can probably just use these other things like you know Open Office. Or something, you know. Like I'd rather recommend that to them, but we'll, we'll just kind of stick with it. They had a huge push for like Max as well. Max were always the, the thing that we had to be pushing, and I'm like, look, if somebody's coming in and wants a video editing station. I'm not recommending them a Mac. In fact, if they're talking about a Mac, I'll probably try and get them to not buy a Mac because it's just not very good. Like the ones that we had were really not good. Like you can get a Mac that's okay at video editing, not the ones that we had there. And even the Macs that are good at video editing are only good at video editing because you're used to the software on it. Not because they're actually powerful hardware. <laughs> um, so there was, there was that part we had to sell people stuff that you didn't believe in. Um, and then if you didn't, they'd, they'd talk to you. Like, they'd go over every time I, I, I helped a customer. They're like, why didn't you try and sell them this? Why didn't you try and sell them that? I'm like, because they didn't need it. They told me their problem. I gave them the solution to their problem. You know? He was looking for a way to play movies from his phone onto his TV. I didn't need to sell him a whole computer with Office 365 and all this. I just gave him a, a little, uh, you know, little little Google thingy to, 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 you know, screencast or whatever. 
Um, or, uh, or some cable to, to play it to, from his phone, depending on what phone he had or whatever. But, you know, I have to sell him a new phone and get all this kind of stuff. It's like, I just... No. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, it was, it was brutal for that reason. But then the other part that really got me was, um, the, the management was terrible. Like, just terrible. So, like, I, I want to keep going on this ramp, but, like, we're almost done. Um, so there was this one dude who was, like, super, super sexist, super racist. Um, he was, like, the supervisor of the furniture floor. And I'm like, bruh, have you guys not seen this dude before? <laughs> like, he is messed up in the head. Like, there, there's something wrong with him for, for, for realsies. Like, he, he's he's not who you want representing your company, but he had good numbers. He sold warranties on, like, every chair because he lied to them about it. He would he would straight up lie to them about it. He's like, wow, you're getting so many warranties. I'm like, yeah, but he's lying to them. They're going to come back and complain. And uh, he was, like, super sexist and poked fun at everybody that walked through the doors and was, like, you know, talking bad about all the customers and stuff. And I'm like, this is just not the kind of scenario that I want to be in for, for, like, my career. It's not, no. So anyway, that was my experience working at Staples. Don't work at Staples is, is really what I got out of it. <laughs> Terrible place to be. I don't know, maybe the one near you is better. But the one near me, mm-mm, don't go there. Terrible place to work. Horrible place to work. I mean, maybe it's better now. It was a few years ago, but, like, just absolutely terrible. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.